Hey everybody, it's Kelsey and welcome to Natural Lighting. Well, I mean, I do have that light on, but I figured I'd sit, sit, I would sit with uh, facing the window instead of facing away from the window because it's really, really bad lighting in here and I don't like artificial light. Um, anyways, hey, hope you had a good day today. Um, I am doing a cycle update. Um, I started bleeding last Tuesday, so it has been eight days, and I am still, um, not like blood bleeding, but I still have, um, light bleeding slash spotting, um, and for some reason my, uh, my fertility friend won't restart. So after after I started bleeding, I did start temping and peeing on sticks. So I have those that I'm gonna show you in just a second. But this is what my chart looks like. And it has my um, work. It's got where I had my period. And then nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I started bleeding here. And then the next day I started taking my temperature. And I started Clomid the day that it spiked. So that's probably why it spiked. But, um, yeah. So there's that. And I can show you the test real quick. Alright, so these go from top to bottom Tuesday to this Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday almost looked like it was positive, but it's not actually positive because it's not the same or darker. And then Sunday, wait, what? No, that one's Sunday. That's the one that looks positive, but it's not. And then Monday and Tuesday. So whether or not I'm convinced that this is an, oh, no, 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 no. an anovulatory cycle, I don't know. Um, I know it's still weird and you're not supposed to do that um, but right now I'm just really excited about my ultrasound next Monday because then they'll actually take a look and see what's going on so I'll feel a lot better on Monday when I can see when I can see my uterus and my ovaries maybe have some follicles or maybe I could just be like you know pregnant but I'm not pregnant because I keep taking pregnancy tests and they're all negative well negative um yeah Lawrence asked me the other day he was like why do you keep taking pregnancy tests if you know you're not pregnant because he saw all of my uh ovulation test uh in the windowsill but I didn't know that that's what he was talking about because I have been taking a pregnancy test like every other day just in case um I was like, why, why, why are you asking why I'm taking pregnancy tests? He was like, I don't know, it's just weird because they're everywhere around the thing and you're not pregnant right now. I was like, those are ovulation tests. If those were pregnancy tests, I'd be really freaking pregnant because all of them had two lines. He was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess I'm done. I'm still really confused. I am, oh, I am finally like actually having cervical mucus now, which is good. Um, the whole time that I've been bleeding, it's been uh, like really creamy, like almost none at all, but really creamy. And then the last like day or two, I've started to notice that it was getting more stretchy, which is good. And, um, and it's not like blood, blood, like bleeding blood. Like, I mean, I gotta, I gotta find the blood if you know what I mean. But, um, it is in, well, it's not quite egg white, but it is in stretchy CM. So that's a lot more fertile than it has been the last few days. So if we are calling this a cycle, I'm on cycle day eight, 
and I'll go on Monday for my ultrasound and you know what? I'm just gonna be pregnant soon and I'm not gonna worry about it. So, peace. And I keep itching because I have freaking bug bites everywhere. Don't go outside. Okay, good night.